Nine sectors, some rifles, Thobal Battalion, Spear Corps and Mafo Police Station burst down drug factory at Thobal. Seizes contraband drugs worth around 120 crore rupees. Chief Minister Nongtumbam Birain says government mulling over institutionalization of state staff selection board. And the number of deaths from China's new coronavirus epidemic jumps to 722 with 86 dead in single day. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Afternoon News. I'm Ibe to talk to with the top stories and latest news at this hour. In a milestone operation, a combined team of nine sectors, some rifles, Taubal Battalion, Spear Corps and Mafo Police Station busted an illegal drug processing and manufacturing plant and seized contraband drug worth around 120 crore rupees at Kamu Saichang area in Taubal district today. Impact News sources said that acting on a tip of the team carried out drug raids at a house in the area. The team seized 29 kilograms of heroin brown sugar powder, 20 liters of brown sugar liquid, 8 kilograms of marijuana and various equipments and chemicals used in producing contraband drugs during the operation. The team has also arrested owner of the house, Elizabeth Kongsahi, and interrogation by Mafo police is underway. The seized items were handed over to Mafo police station and a case has been registered against the same. Chief Minister Nongtumun Birain said government is milling over institutionalization of state staff selection board. He was speaking during an interactive session between him and civil service aspirants who got scholarship of Chief Minister's coaching scheme held at GM Hall in Fal today. Speaking during the session, M. Birain assured to provide necessary funds to civil service aspirants other than the scholarship. He recalled that the scheme was launched on March 7, 2018 to ease the financial inconveniences facing the civil service aspirants. He expressed contentment that out of more than 2,000 aspirants who applied for the scheme, 150 aspirants got highest, who got the highest marks were elected and availed the benefits of the scheme. Responding to queries of the aspirants and Biren assured not to cause any fallacies in the examinations conducted by Manipur Public Service Commission and to avoid postponement of examinations. The aspirants also appreciated the state government for taking up such a great initiative during the interactive session. <laughs> Hai pamu utha dana ekoi na hain chauru ka na hai chaagi abhi. Agar you are the future of the societies, you are the future of the nation. When you become, when you pass the examination, and when you become the NIS officer, noi the madhu ki noi the lagi kada ba praja abu thabu tonging bagi, noi the lagi kada ba nationalism feelings, social service tonging bagi, sacrifice tonging bagi, corruption tonging bagi, noi the madhu ki lagi kada ba kothuli ekoi na create us. Yes, we know. Economic trends is there in the state, but you are the priority. If required, where government is ready to pay more. Chief Minister Nongtuma Birain appealed teachers of the government colleges to withdraw their current class boycott, considering the plights facing the students. Asserting that the cabinet has approved the demands, he assured that the governments will initiate necessary measures to fulfill the teachers' demand without further delay. Responding to Impact News query regarding the prevailing issue of the street vendors and Birin said efforts are underway to provide appropriate place for the street vendors. He lamented that the strict vending activities not only blemishes in Fal City but also causes various inconveniences to the tourists visiting the state and also increases the rate of road mishaps.
Wasadi was how we get the money, then some time got the money table. I do get a young single life, I know Mangdori do. Piggy, Kariki, Pesaki, Kariki, Gomen and Hana Queen, in principle, the Agra, Peter and Yagre, Cabinet, in principle, the Agra, Vasi Arabani. Krakrasutana for a young single life was my name, Nick Lamo Tambona, the state killed labor situation. We come in about Avenue. Tony had the quit of money. April to get the only other than the other was an Agre, the owner of a quish for Honor. Gary said, Pum, I think Kong is a Pum, Sorok, what Pum Pum the Bai say, Pitibi of Pum the Pum day. I coin a Siki. Temporary <laughs> Prescribed United National Liberation Front UNLF Military Affairs Committee greeted people of the state and various prescribed groups in Western South East Asia region on the occasion of 33rd Foundation Day of the Outfits Red Army Wing Manipur People's Army. The prescribed group also paid revolutionary salute to all those who laid their lives in the freedom struggle. The press release appealed people to unite to bring development and preserve the integrity of a state. Three-day 15 national meeting of Network of Women in Media India and WMI kicked off at Indian Social Institute Bangalore on February 7. The event is being held on the theme, the media, citizenship and identities, women journalists from across the country, including Impact News sub-editor Joyce Ree Usam, Imphal Free Press reporter Barbie Serene and senior journalist Tingnam Anjulika Samom from Manipur are taking part in the meet. Topics like gender, climate change and disaster, can the media be a mediator? Citizenship, identity and migration were discussed on the first day. Rants of topics like journalism, culture and identity, fixing the ethics of fixer journalism, culture and the arts in times of trouble and many more will be covered in the remaining two days. An on-site exhibition is also being held showcasing posters, banners and slogans from the recent uprising against the CAA, NRC, NPR and clampdown on universities. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on the number of deaths from China's new coronavirus epidemic reaching 722. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break, you're watching Afternoon News. The death toll in China's novel coronavirus outbreak has sharply risen to 722 with 86 new mortalities in a single day. Mostly in the worst affected Hubei province, while the total number of confirmed cases jumped to 34,546. 86 deaths were reported in mainland China with 3,399 fresh cases from 31 provincial level regions. Among the deaths, 81 are in Hubei province and its provincial capital, Huan. The epicenter of the virus, two in Heilongjiang as well as one in Beijing, Henan and Gansu. By the end of Friday, 26 confirmed cases including one dead have been reported in Hong Kong. Macau reported 10 cases, while Taiwan reported 16 cases. A total of 4,240 new suspected cases were reported and 1,280 patients became seriously ill and 510 people were discharged after recovery. Around 15.59% voter turnout has been reported till 12 a.m. in Delhi Assembly elections. The voting which began from 8 a.m. will continue till 6 p.m. President Ram Kovin, former Vice President Hamid Ansari, Delhi Lieutenant Governor Anil Baijal, Former Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh, Chief Minister Arvin Kejriwal, Union Minister Dr. Harz Verdan and Dr. S. Jai Sankar and Congress leaders Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi were among those who exercised their franchise. Aam Admi Party leader and Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia, Senior BJP leader, 
Ram Madhav and senior Congress leader Ajay Makin also casted their votes among others in the early hours. A total of 672 candidates are in the fray for 70 assembly seats. Altogether, 1 crore 47 lakhs voters, including 66 lakh 80,000 women voters, 81 lakh 5 women voters, and 2 lakh 32,000 new voters between 18 to 19 years are casting their votes in 13,750 polling booths. It may be mentioned that the present ruling party, Amatmi Party, AAP, secured 54.3%, while BJP secured 32%, and Congress Party gained 9.6% votes in the Delhi Assembly election on 2015. Counting of votes will be held on February 11. Eleventh edition of the Defence Expo, a flagship biennial event of the Ministry of Defence, will conclude today in Lucknow. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will preside the valedictory session this afternoon. However, the Defence Expo 2020 will remain open for the general public from today till afternoon, tomorrow afternoon. This year's Defence Expo has emerged as one of the largest gatherings of defence exhibitors and delegates, particularly in the aerospace sector. The growth of indigenous enterprise has been the most encouraging facet of Defence Expo 2020. Over 200 partnerships involving the signing of Memorandum of Understanding, transfer of technology and product launches were concluded on the third day of Defence Expo yesterday. Minister of State for Defence, Sripat Yasu Nayak, said that UP government has successfully organised the event and it emerged as the best ever defence exhibition. Defence Secretary Dr Ajay Kumar said that government is working on intellectual property rights and transfer of technology to boost the export of defence equipment. Now the sports news. Neroka FC will log horns with Trao FC in a match of the ongoing Hero I League at Kumal Lampak Main Stadium this evening at 5. In another league match today, Kerala Gokulam will play against Real Kashmir at Kerala's EMS Stadium tonight at 7. ATK will play, as a play against Orisha in a match of the ongoing Indian Super League 2019-20 at Kolkata's Seoul Leg Stadium tonight at 7.30. In yesterday's league match played at Guwahati's Indira Gandhi Athletic Stadium, North East United and Kerala Blasters ended in a goalless draw. Both the teams executed excellent game plan till the last minute of the match. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Nine sectors, some rifles, Sobal Battalion, Spear Corps and Mapo Police Station burst down drug factory at Thobal seizes contraband drugs worth around 120 crore rupees. Chief Minister Nong Tombambirain says government milling over institutionalization of state staff selection board. And the number of deaths from China's new coronavirus epidemic jumped to 722 with 86 deaths in a single day.